Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about um, the rise of the, the the acknowledgement of the global the global sociopath. All right, so uh, you know we're in this world where every day Vladimir Putin wakes up, you know, rubs his hands together, you know, twirls his mustache villain his his villain mustache, and says, "What am I going to steal from the world?" And what he's stealing from Americans is the ignorance of the global sociopath, all right? So there is a global community. It's not just developed nations. It's not developing nations. It's not emerging nations. It's all nations and even people who live on land where no nation exists, right? It's everybody, right? So when you look at the global community, including all humanity, right, and you reduce it to a single citizen, what is the nature of that global citizen? Well, that global citizen is a is a sociopath. It lacks, um, it lacks social behavior, and it lacks a conscience. How do we know this? I can. I'm going to give you proof right now. Uh, the United Nations is, you know, is it represents all the the um, nations of the world who are dedicated to being uh, members of the of a global civilized society, right? And um, they just put out a, hor- a horrifying count, right? And that count is 339 civilians and 300 and, and 339 civilians and 25 little ones. Civilians. 339 adult civilians and 339 little ones civilians. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. 339 adult civilians and 25, 25 little one civilians. Those lives are 100%. All of their lives were taken by one human on this planet, Vladimir Putin. He is 100% responsible for 339 global citizens, 330 not, and 25 little ones on this planet are gone for no other reason than Vladimir Putin. They, that, those lives don't belong. The loss of those lives does not belong to another single human on this planet. Right? They they belong what? Because no one set this in motion but Vladimir Putin. And the reason why I'm saying that now, right, is revisionism is already starting. There's a lot of tr- people trying to say. Where does the blame fall? And there are there are fingers pointing back at the U.S. right now. There are fingers pointing back to the U.S. right now, right? But let's let's talk about the rise of this global sociopath. When we look at all citizens of this earth, and we and we squeeze them down to one citizen, that global citizen is a you know that macro level one hundred percent of all humanity citizen is a sociopath has lacks social behavior. And has no conscience. And the reason why is the entire world is watching as 339 global citizens are lost and and 25 little ones are lost. Just lost. In the ether. Gone. Right? You know, like, and we all have beliefs of where we're going to see them. Some of us believe that that we're going to shut our eyes and we'll never see them and they'll never see us. Others think that we'll see those children in heaven. Right, and we don't know if we'll see the the 339. That this is a terrible. This is the most horrific math I've ever seen in my in my lifetime. Right, this is horrific math. Right, that that's another. That's <laughs> he's just taken so much. Right, like even math is horrible now. Right, like he's st- Vladimir Putin has has stolen joyful math. The math we do today is is laced with terror. Right. He is the world's, he is the enemy's greatest, he is humanity's greatest enemy. He is showing himself. He is showing himself, right? He's showing himself to you, to me, to the world. And the world, and what has the what has the world response been? They're like, we see your 339 lost global citizens. We see your taking of 25 little ones. Right? You know what our response is? It's uh it's sanctions. Oh, not actual, like, helpful sanctions that would exclude your greatest assets of oil and natural gas. No, you, you keep those. Let's make, let's make sure this doesn't hurt a single bit for you, Vladimir. Right? Like, let's make, oh, we, we, we see your global terror, right? Let's make sure that 
no one takes a single thing from you, right? Make sure that like your your greatest assets of oil and natural gas double or triple in value. Why don't why don't we help you? The whole world is looking and seeing. They're seeing in real time the loss of little ones to an outrageous human vi- like to the greatest enemy humanity has ever known and the world like and Zelensky's like, okay, I see that you don't have the courage to actually give me the help I actually need. That's super clear to everyone, right? America over there, I know you, I know you guys have like low millions of, of actual freedom fighters who are equipped and trained in the U.S. military that can end this in a weekend. Like they're all benched. They're all sitting on the bench. Put me in, coach. And the coach is like, no, no, you stay on the bench, right? This game isn't our game. Right? We don't care about global citizens, just NATO citizens. Right? Like, oh my gosh, it, like it's it's in real time, right? Like this is the most horrific math I've ever seen in the 52 years I've had on this planet. It is horrendous. It is horrendous, right? But the real, but actually, Vladimir Putin is the real story here. But the second story, right? It's below the fold is the rise of the global sociopath, the real, the realization that we as humanity have no care for other humans. This is, it is horrific, absolutely horrific. Like, I just can't believe that there's a, there's a bald-faced villain who wakes up every day and like writes down his list of everything he's gonna steal from Ukraine, everything he's gonna steal from America, everything he's gonna steal from the world, right? Security wealth, hope, right? And just, he, he's doing it every day in bold-faced, like unapologetic real time because he knows that no nation in the world has the courage to stop him. It's, it, it's appalling. It's appalling, right? We as, a, as citizens of the world need to stop and say, we're not going to allow one human being to hold us all hostage. We're not going to allow him to add numbers to the citi- to the global citizen word, to the global citizen total, and we're not going to allow him to add numbers to the little one number, to the little one total. All right, right now, you know, on March seventh, the answer is play on. Vladimir Putin. We won't even put up a no-fly zone. Zelensky's like Zelensky's saying, "Hey, could you guys as a as a glo- as global citizens, as global nations, could you please just declare that nobody can fly um that no one has the right to fly uh could you please just determine that no one has the right to actually you know, fly fighter jets over my nation and bomb civilians and, and, you know, and shoot down missiles and, and use, you know, fighter jet mounted weapons on civilians. And the world's like, nah, we're good. You're good. Fly fly zone's fine. No fly zone is, uh, that would, that would actually be very, very uncomfortable for Vladimir Putin. And the, and the biggest thing the world's doing right now is making sure that Vladimir Putin does not become even the least bit uncomfortable. We won't even put real sanctions on him. Like, like, so no, if, if that's, is that's something that's going to be useful to you and even slightly uncomfortable to Vladimir Putin, we're not going to do it. What am I missing here? Like, uh, what am I missing here? Why is this as bad as it is? Why is there, why is there no courage in a single global leader? Where has it gone? Where is courage? If you know, please answer in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.